Welcome back to the Quiet Franklin Show. Today I will be reacting to Paula White's uh, speaking in tongues video that, it, that has surfaced and went around uh, the gospel community. And then I will be giving my response to it. But then also we will, you all will be seeing um, what she said in regards to what people have said about that video. And let's just say, uh, Miss Paula White ain't, you know, she ain't nothing to play with, apparently, according to her. You know, she ain't, she ain't, she ain't nothing to mess with. So, here we go. Uh, here is the video of her speaking in tongues. I hear a sound of shouting and singing. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. The Lord says it is done. The Lord says it is done. The Lord says it is done. For I hear victory, 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 victory in the quarters of heaven. In the quarters of heaven. Victory, 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 victory. For angels are being released right now. Angels are being dispatched right now. Hamanda ata ata raka te de baka sanda ata ambo osa kata rite eke banda ata rike didi asha ta. For angels have even been dispatched from Africa right now. Africa right now. Africa right now. From Africa right now. They're coming here. They're coming here. In the name of Jesus from South America. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. From Africa. From South America. Angelica forces, angelic reinforcement, angelic reinforcement, angelic reinforcement. Pika hata anda ata ora bata rata anda ek ek manda rasata. For I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. So there you go. She's speaking in tongues, calling. She's saying these tongues, saying these tongues. You know, the the this and that, calling on the African angels come on angels from africa to come over here um here's what i have to say to that um to a lot of us it looked as though she was you know playing to a lot of us it looked like um she was just you know just saying a bunch of random stuff and then she's calling on the angels from Africa to come over here and you know and a lot of people was like wait a minute why are you calling the angels from Africa they need to be over in Africa because the whole SARS stuff you know so yeah it's, it's a lot so um <laughs> and when I say us I, I mean us as black people because really the black people the black folks was the ones that had a, had a real problem with what she did and what she was saying and how she acted in the video. Um, certain people like Jamal Bryant had some things to say and Lexi Allen um, had things to say. I believe um, E. Dewey Smith even had some words to say um, and a few other people. Um, also, John P. Key, um, he had some things to say as well. Um, you know, me personally, I didn't really pay attention to the video when it first came out uh, because I, I don't listen to Paula White. I don't, really don't know know who she is. I know of her. She's a preacher and whatnot, but I, I don't, you know, fool with her because I, again I don't know she I never I never really sat there and listened to her um, but this is what I have to say um, in response to the video uh, and to and to a lot of other people that feel a way about her speaking in tongues and whatnot can I say this she Paula away just because she doesn't speak in tongues like the normal black person you hear, that doesn't mean she wasn't speaking in tongues. Okay? In, res in response to her calling on the angels 
from Africa. I mean, I, I feel like that was kind of, you know, eh, because again, if there's angels dispatched to Africa, leave them there. If you need some angels to come down and fix what's ever going on down here, saying, God, I need you to send your angels down here to fix what's going on. I felt it was, you know, eh, it was like off the call on the, to literally say angels from Africa come up with like, um, to a lot of the people that did not understand Paula White and what she was doing, um, a lot of y'all need to shut up. You know, there's a quite a few people that knew what Paula White was doing, and so they had, so they had, a, so they had a, a, a appropriate response to it. When there was quite a few people that, that was in the comment section of a lot of the videos. And they just kept saying, oh, Paula, well, you don't know what you're talking about. You're this and you're that and this and that. And it's like, you all really don't know what she was doing, what she was saying, you know. Um, also, can we be careful? Can we be careful when we start, you know, talking about preachers and what they do? Can we be careful with that? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all for, you know, you know, calling the preacher out on their mess, you know. But it was like, there was a, quite a few comments that was just like, was just like disrespectful. People were literally being disrespectful. And again, I'm not defending this woman. I'm, I'm really not, I'm not defending this woman because I, I, I don't know the woman, but just to see people come at her the way they came at her, it's like, wow. But really, you all were only coming at her the way y'all came at her because she supports Donald Trump. That's the only reason why y'all were, you all were really coming at her is because she supports Donald Trump. And she was saying, send the angels down to fix the election or whatever because, you know, Donald, you know, he felt that the election was rigged. And so that's, that's really the main reason why you all even were coming for her because she supports Donald Trump. There's no other way around it. You all wasn't, you all really didn't care about her tongues or anything like that. You were just coming at her because she supports Donald Trump. Moving on. So then she does a video in response to the people that were coming at her, like Lexi Allen, John Key, Jamal Bryan, E. W. Smith. She did a response video. And here you go. You have my number. I've got over 6,000 people that got my phone number. You've got my number, all right? You know exactly, I'll be bold enough to say how to call me. Don't be a coward and put something out on the internet when you have my number. Call me, call me. Because we'll sit up here and I'll have you come here and we'll talk about it. We'll sit here. Don't have me call some things out. You call. Okay, I expect the world to. You guys go ahead. So as you can see from Paula White's response, she ain't playing around. Okay. She like, you know what, listen, if you want to have a conversation, y'all up here doing all this, come come to me and have a conversation. Come 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 to my face. Let's sit right here and let's have a conversation. You know. Um a lot of people took what Paula White said as like, oh, you, you want to catch these hands? You know, a lot of people took it that way. Lexi Allen kind of took it that way. Um, you know, as you can see right here in the screenshot, you can see that she took it that way. Um, so it was like, okay. But again, I understood what Paula White was saying in this moment though. And that response was like, hey, let's come up here, come over here. Let's sit down. Let's have a conversation. Let me tell you why I was feeling what the way I was feeling. Let me tell you why I did what I did. And then you tell me what you did. And let's come to a, you know, a middle ground, you know. But if you black and you from the hood, you 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 know what what this what what her what her stance meant or was meaning, you know. Uh, you know, you track shoes, tennis shoes, track suit, doing that. You don't do you don't do that to somebody up in the hood. It's black. 
or just grew up in the hood. You you don't you don't you ain't got tracksuit, ten shoes. You doing like that? You say, "Come meet me," like. So I could see why Lexi took it the way she took it, but it's like, you know. So I could understand why she took it the way she took it, and you know. So, and I could understand other people's response to that approach that she came out like that, the way she dressed and whatnot. But I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't think Paula is like, I don't think Paula was trying to say she want to fight. I don't, I don't think Paula meant that at all. I don't think Paula meant that at all. I'm not saying Paula can't fight, you know. They, she said she grew up in a trailer park, but you know, according to Lexi, trailer park and hood is two different things, okay? But again, I'm not saying Paula can't fight. But what I'm saying is I don't think Paula wants to actually fight. You know, so don't really get into really any heated discussions and, you know, uh, and I don't think Paula wants to do that, but um, I understood Paula's response. You say, hey, let's, let's sit down and have a conversation. So, <laughs> yeah, she's here. Yeah. So, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. On the road to 500,000 subscribers, 10000 $10,000 giveaway when that comes. Stay tuned. I have some great stuff coming in store for you. Stay on the lookout for the video about the Christmas drive. It's going to be a giveaway toys, food, clothes, a lot of stuff for single parents. Um, it, it's just, I want this to be big to the point that you can come in and get what you need and you won't have to feel like you had to, you know, like you leave and you're like, oh my gosh, I took that. No, you're going, you're going to be able to get what you need. That's the whole point of this. So, for the Christmas drive. So, I look forward. I really, really look forward to doing this. Thanksgiving drive, I'm canceling. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to focus on the Christmas drive. Next year, I will do Thanksgiving and Christmas. But for this year, it's just going to be the Christmas drive. So, stay tuned for that video. I'm excited. Hope y'all excited. Hope y'all send your donations. I'm trying to make this really, really big. Because, again, I want you to be able to get everything that you need. I want to have more than enough. I want to have so much that, you know, at the end of the day, like, it's just still a whole bunch of stuff that's there that I can just go and give to people that did not know about the drive and whatnot. So, I'm excited for it. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.